Hello, everyone. Welcome to Research Hub. I'm Ziola Hakmunim, the founder of Research Hub. Also, I'm working as an associate professor in Norway. In this lecture, I'm going to talk about four major mixed method study designs. In most cases, we find a lot of resource about a particular quantitative method and a qualitative method. But when it comes to mixed, mixed method study designs, there are rather limited resources and often we really cannot clearly differentiate between them. So how we should really design our mixed method studies and how we really put the qualitative and quantity parts and how we really interpret the results and so on. So here, in general, we can have four mixed method study designs. The first one is triangulation design. So here we might do quantitative part and the qualitative part separately, but at the same time. So we do quantitative data collection, data analysis and results. We do qualitative data collection, data, collection, data analysis and results. We mix our results and we compare and interrelate and validate the results. Then we do the interpretation, generally equal emphasis on both data fronts. So this would be the triangulation design. Then we might do an explanatory study design. So where we start with quantitative part, we start with data collection, analysis, and results. Then we look into the results from quantity part, but sometimes it may lead to the need for further clarification or participant selection. So then we develop a qualitative study design. So we found something, and then we want to explain it further. We want to find reasons why something is like this, why this is associated with this, Sometimes also in quantitative research, you know, we find something that we did not expect. We expected a positive relation between these two variables and suddenly we get a negative uh, association or no association, something like that. So now we want to select some participant, do some interviews or do something, some kind of qualitative data collection and do analysis of that. So then we again come back to the interpretation. We normally emphasize in the later part on the quantitative part, but also the quality results are used to explain and elaborate. So here in the exploratory, explanatory design, is still the focus is going to be on the quantity part, but quality parts are useful in explaining and elaborating the findings of the quantity part. Then we have the exploratory research design. So here we start with the qualitative design. We do data collection analysis and results then often based on the qualitative results, we will develop some instruments or theory based on the qualitative results that we would like to test quantitatively. Then we come with the quantitative data collection part, analysis and results, and then we proceed with the interpretation. Here, the emphasis is usually on the qualitative part. So whatever we start with, the emphasis is there, but then we also use the results from the quantitative part to generalize and test our hypotheses or theories. Finally, we have the embedded research design. So here, the focus is not on quantitative or qualitative, uh, it, either of them. So what we do is we, let's say, have this qualitative study design. Within that, we have a qualitative study design. So we have both of them at the same time, but one as a part of another one, okay? So like in the triangulation, we do them separately. But in the embedded design, normally we will have them together. So for example, it could be that, you know, you have these survey questions, which are very quantitative type, and then you have some open-ended questions in the end of the same survey. So something like that. And then we do the qualitative data uh, enhancement uh, with quality, quantity, quantitative results, and then, normally we interpret and normally we will have more emphasis on the quantitative part in this case. So these are four major mixed method study designs. I hope you find it useful. Good luck with your research.